What's good, Yellow Rose gang? It's your girl, right? Back with another video. Look at my people, they motivate me. I'm out of state, ain't seen y'all lately. I, see all I used to see y'all daily. Put yeah. in that work, we can ball later. We can ball. Put in that work like an all stater. Yeah. I'm in the stool, I'ma call later. I'ma never call. see him, and I miss my dogs. Mama call, never miss her calls. Mama nah. call. What's good, gang? Y'all already know what it is, and y'all already know what it do. Right back with another video for you guys today. And I'm back today with a yum yum ball. <laughs> so, the clue for this yum yum box today was a smorgasbord of countries. So, I already know what the country is, um, and it's from Scandinavia. Scandinavia, y'all. So, uh, if you're new to my channel, thank you for coming through, showing me some love. Please make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time I drop a video. As well as, make sure you thumbs me up, comment down below, share me out, get lit gang gang we in this thing y'all we gonna go ahead and get into this tasty <laughs> um but yeah y'all i'm excited uh i've been waiting to open this box for a little minute now and i'm like i'm finna open it i'm finna open it <laughs> so of course you know how i opened the box and this is what comes in the box as well we have a little pamphlet information about all the different things, uh, snacks in Scandinavia, snacks explained, um, questionnaires, and then this here is where you can rate the different snacks and turn it in and let them know how they were. And then have little quiz puzzles and stuff on there too as well. Uh, if you guys would like to purchase this, make sure just to click the link down in the description, yumyumbop.com, you feel me? Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into the first snack, y'all. I don't know how many in here though, this time. So let's count, how about that? We're gonna count it first. Empty, okay? So I got one, ooh, that looks weird. One, two, three, four, five, six things I have first to try. First snack I'm gonna try is gonna be, it's called a Dremel. A Jamal. Ooh. It's a Icelandic milk chocolate and salted caramel puff. Mmm. And this is how it looks in the package, y'all. This is the package and how it looks. And that's the back side, you know, informational-ish or whatever. Milk chocolate with salted caramel puffs naturally and artificially flavored. So, let's go ahead and read a little bit about this. So, this yum is a dream. <laughs> no, really. The word dramur, dramur. I knew that's what that meant. It means dream. <laughs> um, as you're about to discover the dreaminess of the Demore bar goes far beyond its name or even its extreme popularity in Iceland. So this specific candy bar is from Iceland, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and open it and taste it. Ooh, this is how it look when you open it, y'all. This is how it look. This chocolate don't look old today. <laughs> if y'all watched my last video, y'all already know what I'm talking about. That chocolate look that old, that old. Okay? You can smell the salted caramel. Mmm. Woo! 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 That salt bun kicked in, baby. Woo! Woo! That's some salty candy. Now, I would say, if you like sea salt or sea salt flavored candy, this is probably the candy for you. But I think it's too salty just to just be eating it like that. Um, but the flavor, it tastes really good. You can taste the caramel. You can taste the crisp puffs. It kind of it kind of reminds me of a crunch bar, but it's real salty. Mm -hmm. That's salty. Man, baby. On a scale of one to ten, 
I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five. Half and half, you feel me? It's okay. If it didn't have that salt in it, I'd probably just slam it, okay? All right, y'all. Next snack. Hmm. We're gonna try. Ugh. I don't even wanna try this, y'all. I don't even really mess with this like that. Salty licorice. A salmi key. My toe. I don't know how to say that, but yeah. This is how I look, y'all. It's a little licorice. Ooh, I'm scared. I'm scared, y'all. Ooh, salty licorice bar. In Finland, salty licorice is nothing short of a national treasure. Locals literally refer to it as a black gold. And yet, tourists often wind up spitting it out. <laughs> That's gonna be me. Shoot, I'm gonna go ahead and taste this thing because I already know it's gonna be gross. Cause who eats black licorice? You do? <laughs> Y'all eat black licorice? I can't even say it right. That's crazy. Oh, they come in little screens. No, well, maybe not. Look. So, this is how it look, y'all. It look kind of brown. It don't look like black licorice. It look brown. But I'm going to taste it. Look. No, y'all. That ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. Mm -mm. No, no, thank you. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna go ahead and get that look two. You feel me? A look two. That's a look two. That's on a low, 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 scale. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into these chips. I always like tasting the different boxes. Um, with the chips, they always have good chips. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and taste these. They're called All American Grill Kims, made in Sandoroso. Damn lucky potato. <laughs> when you're hungry for fun, you eat this shit. Mm. Just like a sneaker spot. When you're hungry, grab a snake ups. When you're hungry, grab Kim's chips. <laughs> okay, so it's a potato snack with assorted. Spices, ooh, love or spices? That's the question many male Danes faced in 19th century due to their extensive travels. Danish spices, Danish spice traders often rem remained unmarried, earning the nickname pepper dudes. Today, this bit of history has spawned a spicy modern tradition. So this is a tradition, um, and that if a day and a single all right y'all so we just gonna go ahead and try that try these chips or whatever that's how i look i already showed y'all i look we're still in my mouth it's just so nasty mm, they smell good mm, they smell like potato chips look at y'all how they look in the bag y'all know they be cheating you out the chips and stuff giving you half bag it's okay it's cool I don't, it, it smell like a plain potato chips to me. It smell like a plain potato chip. Mmm, crunchy. It tastes good. I eat them. Mmm. Now, on my favorite potato chip scale, it ain't no like the scale at all because it's just like a regular potato chip. But I'm going to go ahead and get these a uh, 7 out of 10. I'm going to rate these a 7 out of 10. They was all right. They was good. I finished eating the bag or whatever. <laughs> okay, you guys. So, the next snack is going to be a Chuko Fleur Girl. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know if I said it right. But that's okay, though. Because this how I look. <laughs> that's how it look, y'all. And... Let's see what's in this thing because it's not speaking any English to me on this package, okay? So, it says oat cookies with cocoa filling in it. Hmm, oat cookie? That's, 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 that's different. This story might sound like a Hans Christian Anderson tale, but it's real. 
1864, Karen Wolf was born in the tiny village in Denmark. As a teen, she worked as a kitchen manager in developing her skills as a chef and businesswoman. By the age 26, she'd saved enough money to fulfill her dream, opening a bakery. Her treats soon won over. Um, her business exploded and Karen Wolf became a household name. The best part, her happily ever after is happily ever after for us too. 150 years later, we still get to savor her crispy chocolate filled chips. I mean, cookies. My bad. Oh. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and open them, guys. I don't, I don't know how I'm like, I ain't, but you know. Ooh. They look a little decent. This is how they look, y'all. They come a little container and all that. Hmm. They definitely smell oaty. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and taste one. Oh, that's one cookie. Okay. So this it's it I thought it was two cookies, but this is one cookie together. As y'all can see, that's one side of the cookie, and that is the other side of the cookie, and in the middle you got some chocolate. No, I want to eat it. I want to eat this. Mm. No, I don't know what. No. <laughs> Scale of one to ten, I'ma give it a two, okay? That's it, that's all. I only swallow this is oh. Hold up. Woo! Woo! I had to boss. I had to boss up. I had to boss up. Alright, y'all. So another uh thing of chips here. This is how they look. They kinda look like uh look grams. The little cereal. So these is a Kim snack too. So they put two finger Kim snacks up in here. That's what's up, Kim. So it's a potato snack with assorted spices. It has cinnamon on it. Ooh, cinnamon. Oh, cracker chips with cayenne, pepper, garlic, and paprika. We gonna see. We gonna, <laughs> we gonna have to get this some tape. Oh, yeah, open up. Hmm, very, very strong smell. That's how they look, y'all, the bag. They look like little scoops. <laughs> little scoopy scoops. Oh, my God. That's very strong. I don't like it. Mm. I don't like the texture of the chip. It's like crunchy, but it's like that too crunchy. Like it's nah, man. And then it's like after you chew it, it's like it goes into like a like a melting your mouth type thing, like a poof kind of. But it ain't a poof. It's a chip. I understand it's poof chips, but God Lord, no. Y'all ain't say this was a poof chip. This is mm -mm, nasty. <laughs> Scale of one to ten. Cam, you getting the two again. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, but I can't. I can't do it. Okay. So then we have the yum yum bag. So y'all already know from my last video that these are little chewy candies. That they always send for us to try so we're gonna go ahead and taste them i'm gonna see what flavors they are first so they gave me two different kinds so they gave me this one which it says on the pack that is cookie dough cookie dough pralines Ooh. 
Ooh, it's a praline. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I don't know the name of that candy. That's how I look. Look, my bad for shorty. It feels like something. That's what it feels with. Hmm. I think I'm digging this. That's good. Mmm. Mmm. It's strong though. It's very strong. Um, it's not gross. It, it's not. It's good. I just ain't gonna eat. I'm not a sweet, sweet type of type. I need to be in the mood to be eating that. But it's good. It kind of tastes like a little graham cracker with a little salty caramel with some chocolate. Bye, bye, y'all. It's good, though. Okay, so the next one I am going to try is going to be a, a gingerbread toffee. So we're gonna try this gingerbread toffee, as you guys can see. It's in the little packy, it's brown. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. It looked like a piece of caramel. And now we're gonna eat this thing. And they gave me two of each of those. So I have two more in here. Oh, good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but yes gang that's the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed me tasting these um different snacks from different areas of the world um please make sure you do subscribe please make sure you thumbs me up please make sure you comment down below in the comment section and share me out <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm out this